Hi, this is Mel. So if you've ever recorded a piece of audio and maybe had a dog barking or some hissing noise going on in the background, you can know how an annoying that can be in your final production. So I've, what I've got here is a little piece of uh, audio that I purposely recorded with some hissing in the background. Take a listen. What I'm going to do is trace along here with my little mouse as we go along. And this little segment here is kind of where the hissing is, but the trick is, is it's actually going to continue here where it gets the, the waveform gets a little jaggedy that's where I'm actually speaking and you'll hear the hissing that goes on back there as well the trick is uh, what this video is about is how do you actually remove that how can you filter that noise out so you get rid of as much of that hissing as you can take a listen Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers while seven sea snakes slithered through the sawgrass Okay, so you heard the hissing down in the beginning when nobody was speaking, and then when I did start speaking, you can hear the hissing even in the background, right? Let's see if we can isolate just that section here where the hissing is going on. Listen. Okay, so that's a hiss. But if you listen to where I'm also talking over in this segment, let's take a listen there. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers while seven... Can you pick it out? You, there's a little hissing that's going on back there as well, right? So we can actually use some software here, and I'm using a piece of software. It's free. It's called Audacity, and here's where you can basically go and get it. It's the the website is audacity.sourceforge.net. All right, and then if you take a look at the download section, you'll be pleased to know there's a Windows version and there's also a Macintosh version as well. Okay, so you can take a look at that. Now, what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and bring back my little piece of software here. Okay, so I've loaded up the audio that I'm playing around with here, and what I want to do is show you how to remove this noise filter, how easy that can be, and what the difference can be. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this just so we have a comparison, a before and after comparison. Let me go ahead and copy this. And then let's glue that back in to the timeline down onto its own track. And I'm going to go ahead and mute the second one, and we'll toy around with this first one. Okay? What I'm, the trick here is uh, to first identify for the software for Audacity what is the noise that you want to pull out. So let's go ahead and highlight just a segment of that that we hope is just the noise, and let's take a listen. To, and what we're listening for is to make sure that there's no cracks or clicks or lip smacking. Uh, that's going on in that segment because as much as possible you want to isolate just that hissing noise. Good. Okay, and I think I've got good isolation there as opposed to let's say grabbing this little segment in the back end. It's not really isolating because at the at the tail end here you can hear yeah there's hissing and I'm not speaking but there's a little bit of microphone noise that's going on. Listen to that tail end. Okay, can you, can you kind of hear that? All right, there's a little breathing, and uh, I sort of bumped something. I bumped the microphone or something like that towards the tail end. So that would not be a sample that we want to grab. It's more from this front end here is what we want to grab here. All right, I'm not hearing any breathing, lip smacking, seat movements, or anything like that, or any clicking. So that's the segment I want to grab, and we're going to tell Audacity that that's our sample. So there's a filter here called Effect and then Noise Removal. So when you grab that guy, there's a two-step process here where on the first step we're going to uh, define what it is that we want to define as a sample of our noise and then step two is where we might make some adjustment to some parameters and so forth. But basically let's do step one first so we grab the noise. Um, what you've basically done is you just said okay that sample that we just highlighted that is a noise we want to try to cut out. Now we go back through and I'm going to click in this gray bar here and basically that selects that whole audio clip. We'll go back into that noise removal filter again and then now we do step two and basically step two has three different parameters that you can set here. Three different settings for noise reduction which is basically how much of that how loud, you know, how much of that noise you actually want to try to pull out. The thing is, is if you make that too large, you actually start pulling, you actually start pulling some sound out of your actually spoken words. So the segment of the audio that you don't want to pull out, you actually can um, start cutting, you know, cannibalizing that. So try to keep this small, like somewhere around maybe 10, you know, 15, 20. So let's say let's say 15 for right now okay and then frequency smoothing you know keep that as maybe the default as well but basically the larger that value then the more audacity tries to considers different noises to be the same alright so generally speaking you want to try to keep that uh, fairly small um, or I'm sorry, fairly large if you have a hissing kind of a sound, but if you have, let's say, a, a, loud, a very pronounced whistle 
or like an electric hum or something like that, then you want to try to go smaller. So again, try to go maybe right around 400, let's say. Keep that about middle in value there. And when you first run this, I would just say go ahead and just run it with, uh, with the Audacity defaults that are in there. And then this attack and decay time is just how quickly uh, Audacity is going to apply it and along the timeline. And I'll usually keep that around 0.3 for right now. Okay? So, we've got the whole thing highlighted, we've got our sample selected, and now we'll just run the OK button. Now you see the waveform kind of changed a little bit there, right? If you didn't see that, let's, let me go ahead and undo that again for just a second so you can see that. So we undo the noise removal, and you can see this front end here, right? There's a little bit of um, some jaggedness that's going on because that's a hiss that we're seeing on the front end, okay? Let me play that for you again, and then also watch this little noise meter up at the top here, okay? And see this noise meter, the green stuff? All right, it's bouncing around. Now I'm going to highlight that whole thing. We've already given Audacity the noise sample, so let's go ahead and do the actual noise removal, and then watch the waveform change. Okay, see how it all flatlined a little bit? But you also saw this segment here also kind of got pulled out a little bit as well, because what you've done is you've cannibalized some of that, uh, some of your own noise by pulling out that frequency. But take a listen now on the front end, and also take a look at this way, this uh, this uh, output meter here. Okay, there's still a little bit of a noise there, a little bit of a hiss, so we can actually try to pull some of that out a little bit more if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and say undo noise removal, and let's go back into that noise filter again. And then here I'm going to just bump up this noise reduction to about 20, and then keep everything else the same for right now. Alright, there. Now let's take a listen. And it's even more quiet. Now take a listen to this front end or this uh, where, where we're speaking. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers while seven sea snakes slithered through the sawgrass. Okay, now let's compare that to what we had earlier. This is the original set down here in the second, on the second track. Take a listen. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers while seven sea snakes slithered through the sawgrass. Okay, so that's the raw version and we'll mute that out and let's take a listen to the new version again where we had processed it. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers while seven sea snakes slithered through the sawgrass. Okay, so a lot, a big difference there. If you notice, the hissing has uh, been cut out quite a bit in that in the in our process sample, and it's very easy to do with uh, software, free software uh, called Audacity. You just import in the. Uh, audio sound that you had recorded and then you can apply these filters to it. So I recommend that. Again, that's audacity.sourceforge.net.